All right, guys, I'm on a roll today. I want to welcome you back to the channel. This is the Digital Review. I'm your host, Mike, and this right here is the Deluxe Light Studio that you can find at Five Below. I paid $10 for this, and I'm going to just take you through a brief demonstration. We're not going to go to any commercial break, none of that. Um, before I go through the demonstration of the light itself, um, which I'm using right now, um, I want to set this up. So, you know, I did a video and I needed a second ring light and I didn't want to wait on Amazon. I had already been to Five Below and I thought, man, I wonder if that light's any good. You know, for five bucks, 10 bucks, give it a shot. I watched a few reviews on it. They said it was pretty good. So I figured, what the heck, I'll try it out. So I went, I picked up this box. I asked the people there what they thought about it. They said that, you know what, a lot of people come in and ask them about it and none of them come back. Uh, so to me, that's a good sign. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration here. Now this light has, so it's got three settings that you can go for. This is the LED right here and the light is kind of like diagonal. It's down in front of me. Um, I wanted to use it as a second light. Like I'll have one light here and I'll have one light kind of facing this way to illuminate this side of my face. So uh, for one light by itself, that's not bad. All right. But now let's just stick with this one. And you got 10 different brightness settings. So I can go, and I think I had it on max. This is on max. So this is 10, 9, 8, 7. Seven's good. 6, 5, 4. Four is not bad either. 3, 2, 1. You know, so if you got some blemishes or if you're tired, you know, you can definitely use the lighting brightness to change some things up. All right, let's go to the next one. This is the LED on one. Let's go up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, see, I don't like any of those as your number one light source. Now, if this was gonna be the secondary light source, which is what I plan to use it for, then we can kind of experiment. But for your primary light source, I don't think I like the LED at all. Let's go to the next one. And this seems to be your LED, because this is the brightest one. And it's on 10. Let's go backwards now. One, or excuse me, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, five's not bad. Four, three, three's not bad. Two, one. You know, to me, I don't think, let's just turn it off and see if one will even make a difference. Yeah, one does make a difference. So, you know, one's not bad either. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just bright. That is bright to be your main light. So I kind of like this one, that candescent look. And if we put that bad boy on like four, five, somewhere in there, that's not bad. Um, it still brights up both sides of your face, but you don't feel like there's huge light in your eye. You can see, you can kind of concentrate. Now the unit itself, the ring, I think it said it's eight inches in diameter. And it's probably, I'm gonna give this guy 10, 11, 12 inches tall. Um, it does come with a attachment on the top. I'm gonna show you it on the box. This attachment on top is for your cell phone. I'm actually using that right now. It works pretty good. It bends, you know, it sits right here. You can rotate it back and forth. I'll do that for you. All right. So it rotates back and forth and you know, it just sits there. It's got like the, the little wire, not a wire, but you know, whatever. I don't know what it's called. But the point is, just like a, a hot shoe on a camera, it sits into the hot shoe, you screw it in, and then it's there secure. And surprisingly enough, it's not going to make the phone, the phone is not too heavy for the unit. It's not going to tip over, like some of the people said in their reviews. Um, you know, and then the light itself, you know, it can't telescope up and down, but it is sitting on a three-leg holder that can gyro around like this. And you get it where you want it, and you tighten it up, and it stays there. Um, if it could telescope up and down for ten dollars, man, that would be that'd be a shit. To be honest with you, uh, but you can also put this on. I want to say you can put it on. 
No, you couldn't use that. Yeah, you can. So you really could take an, an external, let's say you got a, a selfie camera, or this is like a tripod for me, and it's got the three legs. It goes up and down. Okay, well, it's also got that 1.4 millimeter screw, and this will fit right on top of that. So technically, I could use this as a stand and raise it up and have the light coming down on me, especially as a secondary light. Um, I'm actually impressed. I'm actually impressed. This is Trax, this the Deluxe Studio Light. I guess it's made by Trax. It's got Trax on there, but it's called the Deluxe Studio Light. It is at your local, um, what is it, five below? And yeah, for $10, man, you can go get two or three of those, put one boom, and then boom, you know, kind of at an angle. And, um, you know, you got your lighting right there for $10, $20, $30, you're set up. And when you get done with it, you just turn it off. Now, the only thing that I don't understand, and that could be, um, I'll understand it as I use it. I don't know if it's USB pass-through power or if it's USB charging right now. This is what I mean. On one end of the cable, it's plugged into the light. This is your control unit. And on the other end is a USB. Now, I'm not going to take it out because I don't want it to pull the, power, the light off, okay? But the point is, I don't know if this control unit is actually charging, storing power or not, or if it's just a pass-through. Um, be mindful of that. Like, if you go on, on location somewhere and you want to use these little cheap lights, be mindful of that. I don't know, um, like I said, I don't know if it's a passer or a store power type situation, but you want to bring some kind of like adapter, plug-in. Uh, you may want to bring like a power strip, etc., just in case you got to plug it in and your plug is a little bit further away and you know you don't want to look like an idiot when you go to your shoot. But other than that, the only other advice I would say is keep the box because I don't know how durable these LED lights are in this little $10 setup. But man, for... Ten dollars, you can't beat that, and I like the versatility that you get with this light. As far as the different settings that you want to do, you know, if you got light over here, you can kind of go brighter, but you can at least light your face to the level that you want. So, you know, I'm gonna sit here and mess around with this and make some more videos. It's like 1 30 in the morning right now, so uh, I probably should be going to bed, but um, yeah, if you like that, you got any questions on this particular light, is the Deluxe Studio Light. Uh, hit me up in the comment section. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand. And uh, I will see you in the next one.